Over the last 20 years, Cristo Salva has been connecting lives by bringing people from all walks of life into the tiny villages of Honduras. Four times a year, Ray and Letty Marco conduct short-term missionary trips, taking along with them doctors, nurses, dentists, teachers, plumbers, electricians, students, pastors, all different walks of life in order to help perfect Christ's love through a common community of believers to reach the sick, poor, and needy, and to share God's love with them. Behind a hardware store on the dusty back roads of Macualiza, Honduras, is where this story begins. Well, my name is Jasmine. I was five, five months pregnant when I met them. Well, I was gonna get, I got a ticket so they can um, check me up, my pregnancy, everything. So that was on Friday, and the same Friday I got the ticket, um, I, I, was, I was getting bad and I lost my baby. Cristo Salva canvasses the community and distributes admission tickets for medical clinics several days in advance of the actual clinic. The day Jasmine received her ticket is also the day she lost her unborn twins. She went to the doctor because she knew something was wrong. She miscarried the first baby, and the doctor made the heartbreaking decision to terminate the other baby as well because he would not live. Jasmine cried out in agony. She came to the clinic after the miscarriage and poured her heart out to the missionaries in the clinic. There, the plan of salvation was presented to her and her mother, and they both accepted the Lord right in the clinic. Ironically, the first baby ever born in the clinic was born that day. Well, the same day that I, I met them and all, the same day I started translating for them. Jasmine began translating for Cristo Salva at the young age of 14. Jasmine is much more than a translator for Cristo Salva. She also encourages other young pregnant women, especially those that have been ostracized from their families. She helps locate homes for the young women during their pregnancies and offers hope and encouragement to them. With the help of Cristo Salva, Jasmine was able to become strong and healthy and gave birth to a beautiful baby girl several years later. In every way, they, they've become part of us. Not only like helping us like with medicine and clothes, a part of that, they, they become like our family because um, I'm Mexican, I have no family here. Cristo Salva has also had a huge impact on the small surrounding communities in that region of Honduras. Low birth weight, premature babies, and complications during pregnancy were very common. Thousands of prenatal vitamins and baby care kits later, Big babies are the standard now after 20 years of dedicated medical ministry. Right now, at this point, I've seen better, bigger babies because they were really small babies when I started to came, when I just came. And also more dressed babies because they would be with, without clothes. Even beyond Cristo Salva's four short-term mission trips, the ministry goes on. I've been working with dental work, so I give, they give, um, Crystal Sobel gives me a certain amount of toothbrushes, um, floss, and I give it out to the, to the community here. To help Jasmine, Crystal Salva employs her to make greeting cards. And also, Crystal Salva has helped me a lot because um, I don't have a job here permanently. So they've given me a, a certain um, cards to do, and they pay me to do that. So that's a really big help because um, we are like nine in the family, and only one is the one who's working. So it's very difficult for us. Not only is Cristo Salva reaching out to the community, but the community is reaching out to help one another. The needy are helping others in need. Well, let's say when Cristo Salva gives out something to a mother who is pregnant, um, when she stops using it, she gives it to another, so that's, that's a good improvement. Through Cristo Salva, lives of great need are being forever changed by daily miracles, and in this amazing connection, Christ's love can be perfected. <laughs>